You at home, you, stop hugging your dog. Some researchers say hugging your dog actually stresses them out. Which is news for Ann and me, yes. inveterate dog huggers from way back. Here to make heads or tails of this, one of our favorite all-time veterinarians, Dr. Heather Lenzner, a genius and a compassionate person. Great to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Calvin and Zipper. Yeah, and they're both actually getting hugs right now. Yes, your but, dog. These are your dogs. Yes, this is my dog. This is one of my friend's dogs. So the big point that I want to bring up before we go into all the kind of the research is the big thing we worry about is making sure people don't get accidentally hurt or bitten from their dogs, right. by their dogs, oh, if their dog is uncomfortable. Yes. So today on the American Animal Hospital Association's Facebook page, I posted an article that all dog owners and especially people with children should read. Okay. But I want to now touch on the study. So this researcher, Dr. Corin, went online, like we all do, and looked at pictures of animals, and specifically dogs being hugged by people. Yes. He found a random sampling of 250 dogs, and most of them were showing signs, subtle signs of distress. Now, mo people don't know these signs, so I actually no. brought some pictures along. Okay. Let's take a look at the first one. And so the first one, we have a, do uh, a little boy holding his chihuahua. Now, look closely at the dog's eyes. We have, you can see the whites of the dog's eyes there. Mm -hmm. We call it half moon eye. That's a sign of stress. And the ears are back, And too. they are. So dogs that are happy, ears are forward. Pin back against their head, they're getting a little worried. Okay. The next one we have is a golden retriever sitting on a couch. And he looks quite comfortable, although subtly, you notice he's not looking at the woman beside him. No. Now, maybe someone called, it, called his, his name, or he might be uncomfortable. Dogs avert their gaze to avoid conflict. Yes. So directly looking at a dog's eye can be stressful for them. It's kind of like when you come home and your dog's been digging in the trash and he will not look you exactly. in the eye. Exactly. They look away. <laughs> yes. Oh, licking lips. You yeah. Think. So in a context of food being around, maybe they're hungry, or actually maybe they're nauseous. Yes. But if there's no food around, this dog is actually showing that he's a little bit uncomfortable by licking his lips. Now, he loves his girl, but uh -huh. maybe he's a little uncomfortable in that position. What if dogs start licking you, licking your hand, like, compulsively and won't stop? Well, uh, especially if you put something like lotion on, they or really bacon, like... if you've been eating bacon again. Yes, yeah. if you get... You cover yourself in bacon, that's for a, sure. That's a daily thing for me. <laughs> and, then, and then the last one we have, this is very subtle. Look at the dog's feet here. Okay. When dogs are comfortable, they have all four feet on the ground. This dog is lifting her, one of her paws up. That means she's not quite sure what's going to happen next. Do I run away? Do I have to get down off the couch. So again, these subtle signs are indications that the dog may not be comfortable with the way you're holding them. Huh. So it's still okay to pet on your pet your dog, love your dog, but when it comes to children, mm -hmm. and especially dogs you don't know, be careful <laughs> to really watch these subtle signs. Okay, whatever you're doing to Calvin, Calvin likes. He likes. He's being submissive right now. He's showing us our belly. He's comfortable here. He comes here a lot. Um, zipper over here. Her ears are nice and forward. Oh, yeah, she's having great that. eye contact with everyone, so she's very comfortable here. What about dogs snap? their noses. Do they... Anything around their face, it's really not a great idea to meet a dog and just stick your hands all over right. their face. Mm -hmm. Again, especially children, they're coming at the dog and they're right at eye level with that dog. So we can end up having bites to children and we have over two million children that are bitten every year. Oh, I've Most seen of it. them are, do are by dogs that they, that child knows. Yeah, I was oh. reading an article about this yesterday and we've got to go, but mm -hmm. there's a difference in going up and giving your dog a hug and a few pets yes. and holding your dog and just hugging your dog because then they feel... They feel trapped. Like That's the, the big corner. thing. They can't escape, and a dog's primary way of protecting themselves is to avoid conflict. Ooh. Biting is the very last thing they want to do. I'm a helicopter owner. It is hard to pull back. <laughs> yeah. Stop smothering your dog. All uh, right. Dr. Heather Lesnar, thank, thank you. Great to see you, thank as you. always.